face out. Oh my god, this is insane. What is up guys? My name is Brent Ruiz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, as you can see behind me and well, all around me, I am pretty much in Ferrari race car heaven right now. Um, I am at the garage of R3 Motorsports here in Palm Springs, our Palm Springs area, Southern California at the Thermal Racetrack. This place is absolutely amazing. But I am here kind of on a little bit of a mission. Um, I'm gonna talk about that right now, but um, let's take a look at some of these cars because as you can see here, this is a real 458 Challenge Evo car and it's surrounded by many, many other Challenge cars. If you don't know, if you haven't been following my build, I am doing a street Ferrari 458 conversion to the Challenge Evo race car, which is right here. That's not mine. This is an actual race car, but I am turning my street car into one of these things and it is nearly done. I keep saying that every video, but I promise you guys it is nearly done and I'm going to give you guys more updates. So I want to give a big shout out to R3 Motorsports and its owner Ryan for letting me do this today. I am here on kind of a mission to uh, solve two issues that I have on my build and that has to do with the wheels and the suspension. So uh, I'll be talking to you guys shortly about that. But for now, let's take a look at some of these cars. Out of all the cars here, this 488 GT3 really stands out. This is the wide body variant of the Challenge car, like that one right there. Just look how insane these louvers look. The wheels, wide body fenders. Just look at this insanely huge lip. Like, what the heck? This is bigger than my hand. Oh my God, can you see that? That's insane. Oh my God, and then the wing. Jeez. By the way, this is a GT style wing, and this is the wing that I have on my car, except mine is the Challenge variant of the GT wing. And you can tell a GT wing by the way that it goes up in the middle there and then back down on either side. Take a look at this diffuser and those exhaust straight through exits. That looks crazy. I really can't wait until I see the first 488 Street GT3 in the world. Um, that's definitely gonna be a sight to behold. So Ryan just told me that uh, R3 is actually going to be working on, they're going to be working on an Evo kit for the Street 488. So um, if I know you and you own a 488, I'm calling you guys out. The first person that has a regular Street 488 to do the GT3 or the Evo kit. The Evo kit looks amazing. Like this is the Evo kit on a non wide body 488 and it looks absolutely sick. R3 is going to be working on the kit, the Evo kit for this car, not wide body, just the standard 488. So first person to contact me um, that actually wants to do that 488 build, the Evo build, I'll hook you up with R3 and um, you guys can get to work because I would love to see that build on the street. All right guys, so we're just coming up the stairs of the R3 Motorsports garage. Part of the goal for today is to get two real challenge wheels for the 458 center lock race wheels as you can see right here these are the two i'm going to take a front and a rear as you can see there center locks and um well my whole goal or plan i guess <laughs> is to test fit these wheels with a center lock adapter one of my friends kyle at cfi designs has made them before and run them on his 458 when he was trying to do this build. So um, he says the 19 inch wheel will clear the brake caliper on my stock cars. That's the thing I think might not work, um, clearing the brake caliper. So please cross your fingers with me because if I can make these wheels work with the center lock adapter without having to change all the hubs and I would have to change not just the hubs but the brake calipers, the rotors, I think even the stabilizer arms and the, and the control arms. I've heard various things from various people about what I would actually have to change 
to run proper center lock wheels without adapter, I would have to, I wouldn't, I, I couldn't stomach pain. Like it would be 30,000 bucks plus to get all that stuff. So I would only really be able to swap out all of my stock parts, the stock brake rotors, the stock brake calipers, the stock control arms and everything else and just try to do a straight up trade with one of these race teams or well, what's more likely is I would trade with one of these exotic car parts recycling businesses that are out there. And even they were gonna be dealing with used race car parts which have been run in races at the very least practice sessions. You don't know if the car has had an off, has crashed. It's pretty sketchy overall. So guys, please cross your fingers with me. We're gonna be test fitting these two wheels on the car in a couple days from now at Deity Motorsports. That's where my car currently is. It's been getting a ton of work done there. <laughs> and uh, I'll give you guys an update shortly, but um, yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna be doing for now. So let's go ahead and load these up. I cannot tell you guys how light these wheels are. <laughs> it is definitely the lightest wheel I've ever tried to lift in my life. But I gotta say the Brixton Forged R11Rs they did a really good job on those because those are very light as well. And then, man, you gotta be close to the weight of these. Now here's the rear. So the way that this adapter is supposed to work is, this is the inside of the wheel, obviously, but. So you attach an adapter, which I'm gonna put a picture right there, um, over the five lug setup that you have already, the hub. And then after that, obviously you mount the wheel and then these inserts on the back they have them built into the adapter so it should lay flush into the holes that are on the adapter. That's the part I'm kind of worried about because, well, the adapter is spec to run these wheels, so uh, it should work. Still kind of worried about that, but the other thing I'm worried about is also that the wheel is going to clear the caliper. It's basically, in effect, we're adding like a 15 millimeter spacer as well, so that's going to bring the wheel out more, which should help in clearing the brake caliper. So. Um, I am kind of optimistic about this. And if it does work, I'm gonna be a very happy camper. So let's go ahead and load these. But before I go back downstairs, let's check out the view from up here because it is pretty awesome. We have 48 challenge. We have, uh, that's uh, the 430. And then we have the 360 in white, the 458 challenge, and then the 488 challenge over there. Check out all of these tires. R3 has slicks for days. These are a mixture of Pirelli's and Michelin's. So some rain tires right here. But yeah, these brand new slicks. Mm, just love how that feels. Let's go back downstairs. Let's load the two test wheels that I have and uh, talk to you guys about what's gonna be happening to the shocks because I am going to get some Challenge race car shocks onto my car. All right, let's load these babies up. And out here, well, so we have a crashed 488 challenge. It's not good. Not bad for the AMG. Hopefully the other one's gonna fit here, but if it does not, I have a nice little spot for it right here in the front seat. Look at that, perfect fit, no issues at all. So those are loaded. Let's check out these other two cars here. So these 488 challenge cars are running the recently released Evo kit which makes these cars look so much more aggressive. They look absolutely sick. The front end, with the bare carbon just everywhere on this car. And then the rear wing, oh my God, look at these side plates, the end plates. This one unfortunately has had a little bit of, a, of an off track excursion as you can see here, but um, hey, it's a race car, right? Um, but yeah, these cars look so awesome with that new, Evo rear bumper. Just look at all of the grills surrounded by the bare carbon and that diffuser. Mm. And here is another example of a 488 Challenge Evo. That awesome new front bumper just looks absolutely insane. <laughs> look at this front splitter, the lips there. You've got your canards, obviously. It's carbon fiber literally everywhere. And I'm also a big fan of the 488 Challenge wheels, they look pretty cool too, but I think on the 458, the standard uh, Challenge wheel look is gonna look fine because Ryan at R3 did tell me that the wheels, those 488 Challenge wheels, will also fit a 458. So might be discussion to have for another day, but I'm gonna run the standard ones for now. Assuming 
that they'll fit. So let's get past that barrier first and then we can talk about fitting these other wheels. All right guys, so interesting development. Ryan, the owner of R3 Motorsports, uh, his 12 year old son is here with him today and he's actually training his son how to drift. So we are headed to the skid pad here at Thermal and uh, yeah, let's take you along and see how this goes. They don't call it Palm Springs for no reason. There are palm trees everywhere. This is actually my first time at Thermal Racetrack and I'm pretty excited. So far it looks very, very nice. For a racetrack, it's like, I would call this like a luxury racetrack. It is pretty awesome. It's definitely in the middle of nowhere, but hey, it's a racetrack and there's sound regulations and whatnot. Brian's son is about to go out. He's 13 years old. Let's see how he does. I'm gonna assume it's not his first time because he just, look at this guy. Oh my God. No way, this is not his first time, no way. This guy is insanely good for 13 years old. I have to ask like how many times he's actually done this before, but oh my God, he's actually killing it. All right, all right, all right. A little bit too much throttle there, but how nice is this just to be able to have the privacy of your own skid pad with nobody to make fun of you if you mess up, which, well, if I were to do that, uh, I would mess up a lot. What an awesome way to learn how to drive. That's not his first time, is it? First time. Yeah. No way. I swear to God. No way, first time? <laughs> yeah, first oh, time. Come on. Well, he's bugging me because he's like, I want to drift something like that. I'm like, well, let me. You know, let me get something you can actually drift. That was really good, man. <laughs> Holy yeah, moly. And they got no, no fear, no. And their reaction is just so quick. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, I was like, hey, Dad, can I try going around the circle? I'm like, yeah, you can do it. Dude. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> We have a uh, 488 challenge coming into the garage here. This one suffered a little bit of an accident, as you can see on the uh, left-hand side of the car. Some off-track excursion. I don't know exactly what happened, but that's why you need mechanics like these guys to put everything back in working order. All right, guys, so this blue car behind me is a Challenge Evo 458. I'm just gonna go over it real quick since it's up, lifted up here um, in comparison to my street 458, what exactly is the difference here? Well, again, I said that I'm trying to be as authentic as possible with my build, but um, I think most of the differences are gonna be inside the car, inside the cabin, because I'm not really gonna deal with any of the interior changes that are involved with this car, because it's just gonna make it way too uncomfortable to drive. I still wanna be able to drive it on the street, regularly so um, I'm not gonna do any of the you know the Lexan uh, the the windows here the windshield that's all gonna remain glass the interior is gonna stay stock I'm gonna keep my current seats as you can see these have bucket seats from Sabelt but um, I have the racy option in my 458 so I'm just gonna keep those on there other than the interior what else on my car is authentic 458 Challenge Evo well I have the wing I have the wing brackets, very, very rare. I have the entire challenge rear bumper, and I even have the exhaust exit OEM 458 challenge. Uh, the diffuser here, it's the same from the challenge car to the stock car. Mine is optioned in carbon fiber, so obviously I'm gonna keep that. Um, I do have to weld on a tow hook onto my car. Now the challenge cars also have the rear bonnet, not only with the laxan, but with the hood pins as well, or bonnet pins in this case. I do have the carbon fiber intake manifold covers um, straight from a challenge car, which look absolutely amazing. Let's hold on for a second because I think they're bringing in the 458 Challenge Evo that's outside. Yeah, here it comes. Ooh. By the way, this car has the shorter wing. My wing is a GT3 variant of it, which means it's a lot wider. So while this looks pretty awesome looking at it from behind, can you tell how like the rear wing is really not wide enough for the car? As I was saying with the other car that just was brought in, the rear wing, this is the standard Challenge Evo wing. And you can see how it doesn't really come out enough on the car. It's not really wide enough. It doesn't really give it 
that big of a presence when you're behind this car. So I was really lucky to be able to find the GT3 variant of this wing, which is about a foot wider. So it ends up like right here on the car, which fills out the rear end of this car perfectly. And I am really, really lucky to have that. Now let's move over to the front. On the front of the car, I do have the OEM front splitter and full carbon fiber. I have the entire front bumper and full carbon fiber. I have the mesh inserts. I have everything except I did not get the challenge hood. It's the same as the stock 458 hood other than it has obviously the, uh, the, the hood pins here. I opted for the speciality hood, which just gives it that much more menacing look from the front. And well, that's been one of the updates that I've been wanting to give you guys. Basically, that has been a big holdup. The hood that I got, it didn't fit right from the beginning and we've tried a bunch of different things, but I gotta give a big, big, big shout out to Deity Motorsports. They have taken the hood from basically fitting like crap. They have fiberglassed it to hell. Um, made it fit properly and it is ready to be rewrapped because we did have to remove the wrap that was on it which kind of sucks but guys I really want to make this car as perfect as possible and that had to be done so big shout out again to Deity Motorsports they're also going to be doing all the work on the suspension with the new shocks the new shocks are actually going to be shipped to them direct directly from R3 Motorsports I have the springs already I really needed to go that route because I need the car to go lower Basically, that's, that's, what, that's what needs to happen. And in conjunction with these 19 inch race wheels, which hopefully with the adapter, with the center lock adapter here, um, hopefully they actually fit the car. And if they do, I'm gonna be so freaking happy because that has been a big pain point for me. <sighs> Guys, we're almost at the end of this build. I just literally need to get the shocks on. I need to make sure these wheels are gonna work. I have the tires. I have to rewrap the hood. I have to rewrap the hood again. The wrap is actually coming in one day from now. So I'm gonna have that ready for Deity Motorsports to rewrap it. And I think that's pretty much it for the windshield. I'm happy to announce that I have a new partner, Racing Optics. They have provided me with a film. You know, like when you're racing in actual racing and you peel off the, the film on your helmet, that's what they've made. They made a product exactly like you have on your helmet, but for your windshield. So you don't have to deal with any of this other weird stuff that kind of like ruins the visibility out of your windshield when you apply it. I'm not gonna say any names, but I've heard a lot of horror stories about those. So that's a new product, Racing Optics. I'm gonna announce them later on in another video. That was just a quick shout out for them for providing me with that. But guys, I'm going all out on this build and happy to have all the partners that I do have. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Everything is looking amazing. Cannot wait to have this done. All right, I think they're putting in the final car. Look how many cars are in here. Holy crap, dude. This is insane. 488s, 458s, 360s, and the 430 over here. Always have a spot in my heart for the 430. Look at these insane carbon fiber intake manifold covers. Looking awesome as always. Mm. All right, guys, so they just got everything back in the garage here. And I don't know about you guys, but this is Ferrari race car heaven. Holy freaking crap. How many cars are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 cars in here. This is absolutely insane. Um, so uh, just big thanks again to uh, Ryan at R3 Motorsports for letting me do this today. Hopefully one day we'll get a ride in the actual 458 or 488 challenge car. That would be absolutely amazing and I would love to bring you guys that content. With that, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Please, if you enjoyed watching, please give this video a like, a big fat thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Until the next one, see you guys very soon. Deuces!